We go to any extreme to protect our children here. And here. And here. Well, there's a great way to protect our kids here against diseases like cancer, heart disease, and obesity. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, vegetarian foods. Now you can protect your kids from the inside out. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. For fifteen hundred dollars, oh. and a check that won't bounce, oh. <laughs> goes to Thank you. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Desmond Wooden. Come on! Baltimore in the house. Baltimore. We bariatricians we really do believe that it's the 10% point that mm -hmm. people really feel a physical difference in their body. Yeah, mm -hmm. almost always. You feel it? Yeah. You feel it. I, 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 like, I thank God for the ability to yeah. work yes. out. Yeah. Yes. 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 I've been um, around Rod Willis for, you know, mm -hmm. know. Are we yes. done? That's right. All right. Yes. Congrats. Decorate the house. I need, we need to decorate the house. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do with that fifteen hundred dollars? Lives that he now. Uh, I was gonna get somebody to the, uh, the you know, the spot that I go to, to the, for the. Um, oh, that's great. And then I'm just going. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's great. great. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something. Man. I want to say something. Um, for our young people who need money. Mm -hmm. Some of them take the wrong fork in the road yes. to get money. Mm -hmm. For him to take it on to exercise mm -hmm. and to be diligent and come mm -hmm. here week in week after week, you know, yeah. working to save, to get right. to earn some money. Mm -hmm. This is such yes. a gift to us. It is. Yes. I just want to thank you for contributing to us knowing yes. that a young man has earned $1,500. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's the money sharing your weight, what your weight was, and where you are now? Oh, I was uh, 330, now I'm 298. Oh, oh, right. One more thing, if you don't have a church home, get a church home and tithe the first 10%. That's right. Amen. That's right. Tithe $150. Right. Yes. That's right. Amen. 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 That's the first thing you yes. do. Yes. And he'll bless you. Yes. Congratulations. That's right. Congratulations. First of all, Dr. Mustardin, tell me why you're, so, why you're so proud of Desmond Wooden and the progress that he's made. Oh, well, first of all, you know I was rooting for him. I told you that on the side. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, is that he's a young person who, who's clearly been struggling with uh, obesity. And he's been um, in a family where there's a history of probably obesity, diabetes, definitely diabetes, death related to that, it's, you know, amputations related to that. And had he continued on the same path that he was headed, he'd be right in the same boat, and probably earlier than that. Um, so to be able to see somebody like this come in at such a young age and come in with a group of adults and do a weight loss challenge and win the weight loss challenge and be so excited and just watch him transform through these 10 weeks. I mean, didn't we watch him transform himself? I mean, really, what a difference. And um, just to see, be able to make a difference. And now he can go out and make a difference. He can make a difference with his colleagues and he'll make a difference certainly with his children when he has children. And he'll know he's learned so much, you know, so he has that knowledge to take with him and to just be able to see a difference being made. Because we're looking right now at the obesity epidemic in young people his age, it's extraordinary extraordinary and these young people who have problems with obesity and now having early onset diabetes hypertension and high cholesterol I mean those are adult diseases they had been adult diseases and now we're seeing it with obesity 
uh, comes all of this, all the morbidity that's associated with it. So that's why I'm excited. Diabetes in the African American community, why is this onset of this, this problem that has accelerated over the last 20 years become such a health problem yeah. in the African American community? Well, I think it's, it, um, he's a perfect example of it where um, he has family that have learned to, to eat a certain way, to not nourish their bodies correctly, to not exercise their bodies, really take care of their bodies, and they train their children to do the same, or their children at least see what they do, and so they do the same. So that's what's being taught. So you have a, a generation that's doing wrong, and it's teaching the young people the same thing. It's just uh, amazing. Desmond Wood, last time we saw you, you were working out in Druid Hill Park. That was well over 10 weeks ago. What's happened in your life since that, that time? Well, at that time, I was 330 pounds. I dropped down to 300, so I lost 30 pounds and 10% of my body fat. How'd you do that? Well, I did a service of, uh, I had to educate myself on, uh, on physical training and, um, and nutrients. So I ate a lot of baked fish and I ate a lot of vegetables with protein. And I also did a, a number of training. I did some uh, physical, I did some uh, weightlifting to um, gain some lean muscle mass. So when I lost the weight, you can see the um, muscle. I, was, I still got to lose more. And um, I did some, some high intensity cardio, like doing, I ran up uh, four flights of stairs at, uh, for about a minute. And then I walk back down, so you do real high intensity. It didn't go real slow. That burns maximum cardio and, and gets your speed up. And I also did core training. Push -ups, What's core training? Uh, push ups, sit ups, dumbbell work. So that um, you don't need uh, a gym to do that. You can do that in the house in, in your own time. Well, look, you know, you joined the ULM Weight Loss Challenge. The goal was to do five pounds a month for 12 months. Uh, looks like you might meet that goal because you dropped 30, uh, 33, 33 pounds in uh, in a 10 week period. Right. I think um, it really helped me because I was dropping weight. Uh, it was it was rapidly um, like 10 pounds or seven pounds a week. Probably it may because I was lifting the weight uh, at least a hundred pounds or 30 pound dumbbells, and that probably helped my body weight. So when I did start doing more high intensity cardio, it burnt off. Um, a lot of fat because I already had lean muscle on them. So. Uh, you also entered a competition down in Prince George's County, the Rosebud uh, Weight Loss Competition. How'd you do in that? Well, I actually won a competition. So, um, you know, it was a prize. Uh, it was a $1,500 prize. So you actually, it was a competition. You had to drop body fat. I had dropped 10% of my body fat. And the next person had, to, they dropped 9%. So it was a good, uh, friendly competition, um, you know, to help, to benefit your health, but also have a reward as in the financial part to it. Well, and they, they also down there, Dr. Ellis and uh, Dr. Uh, Carol Musselman stress uh, reducing carbs out of your diet. They say it turns the sugar wires, the reduction of carbs so important. And did you eliminate them altogether? Well, I, I use, actually use carbs in my diet and, and lean meat because I, as long as you eliminated the, the fats and, a, and a, a truly amounts of soda, I, I, also, I believe in the calorie deficit if I eat some lean protein and, you know, baked fish or baked chicken or um, turkey, ground turkey, that if I go out and work hard enough each week, that I, it could be the calorie deficit and I can um, eliminate the calories with lower my cal intake and I can still burn calories. I like to thank um, Dr. Alice and Dr. Musselman for their um, uh, continued support on helping me uh, lose this weight and let me enter this program, the weight loss competition. What about the educational information they gave at the beginning of, of each session? How important was that? Well, the education is the, is the most important thing. First, you have to first know what you're doing when, uh, when you are attempting to lose weight and better your health because you have to know what certain steps to take and what not to do. That's, that's the most important part and your, the mindset going in.
uh, uh, Dr. Ellis is what they call a bariatric specialist. He specializes in, in weight loss. Uh, do you see that there's a, a big need for that in America today? Yes, this is especially with uh, younger uh, individuals. Uh, sometimes lack of um, you know going outside and doing uh, things outside or just staying in the house really um, beasting up our the younger people with the our weight. So it's, it's best to get them out. They always say at least uh, uh, 30 to 60 minutes a day of, of exercise playing outside. Well, you're getting ready to start a three-on-three -three competition. Tell us a little bit about that, and tell us uh, how people can uh, get involved. I heard you got to come in with your own colors and your own uniform. Yeah, we're promoting, you know, you can be your own general manager, you can your own players, three-on-three -three challenge we're going to do. And we're going to be inviting all players from all different type of sizes, come out, get your three people. They're going to have all three people. You can design your own uniform for the GM creativity of it. You can choose your different people you want a power for the center, a point guard, and I'm going to have my three people. Well, what position you going to play, man? You going to be the postman or what? Well, I, 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 I like being in a, in a post, but if any comes to me, I got to handle the ball, then that's what I'm going to do for that day. But when I, for people out there that's trying to lose weight, you could just, for me, when I joined the UML Weight Arch, that was, uh, uh, I dropped 33 pounds in 10 weeks, but it was a two, three year span when I was trying to get it all together. So it took a while, so be patient with it. And then use anything, if you don't like how your body looks, use anything that motivates you each day and then keep working out.